Welcome to the Mathematic channel. Today we look at 27 to the power minus 2 over 3 equal to x. How do we solve this? Well, we could pull our hairs out or we could use some simple mathematical rules. Let's get right into it. Now, before we start, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Give us a subscribe because some of you are following our materials and not subscribing to the channel. Please support us. This is so important to us. We really appreciate it. Some good rules to follow here. First, we see that there's fractional powers, then there's a negative power, and then there's a squared. Um, so there's a lot going on here. The first thing to notice is that a negative power does not mean it's a negative number. So when you have a to the power minus one, this is actually the same as one over a. So the first thing you could do here is just to flip the fraction around and say that this is the same as one over 27 to the power two thirds. And now you have a choice with uh, whether you'd like to use the power two or the power one third. So remembering that two thirds is the same as two times one third, your number to the power two thirds could be the same as a to the power two to the power one third, or it could be the same as a to the power one third to the power two. And so what's the advantage of doing both of these? Well, let's think about it. If you wanted to do a to the power two to the power one third, well, to the power two would mean squared, which means you'd have to do 27 times 27. Let's think about what to the power one third means for a second. Well, if I was to say a to the power one third, that means the cube root of a, which means which number times itself times itself gives me a. And a squared, that just means a times a. So I have a choice here with my 27. Would I like to square it or would I like to take the cube root of it? Well, it seems that 27 times 27 is a pretty large operation. However, 27 is a perfect cube. It happens to be 3 times 3 times 3. So when you do uh, the cube root of 27, you'll find that that's 3. So I would suggest here that you go 1 over 27 to the power 1 third and then square that result. So if we take the cube root of 27, we'll find that that's 1 over 3, which has to be squared, and that's going to be equal to x. And squaring 1 over 3 is the same as doing 1 over 3 times 1 over 3. And when you do that, you multiply the tops and you multiply the bottoms. So you can say that x is equal to 1 over 9. And this is a wonderful answer for this question. Well done if you manage to find it on your own. This uses inverse laws, it uses fractional powers, and it uses squares. So very good result. If you manage to do this question, it means you understand exponents really well. Thank you for doing this question with us. Remember to follow our channel, like and subscribe, and we shall see you on the next one. Bye-bye.